Hello, I'm back with a series of videos where I try to explain to you the techniques of phonetic transcription. The exercise I'm going to tackle this time, as usual, it has been taken from the VLC transcription series. It is exercise number four, entitled Boozy Culture Vulture. Well, and this is the task. We have to transcribe this text here phonemically, and we have to use the LPD notation, that is the notation that is represented in the Longman Pronunciation Dictionary, and the reference variety, the phonological variety we have to use is received pronunciation. As usual, stress or the stressed syllables have been marked by means of single quotes. And for reasons of better referencing, we have inserted line numbers. Well, and to make the text easier to process, we have split it into three parts. Here are the first three lines. Now, if you're still familiar with the symbolic system of the LPD notation, I recommend to represent the vowels or to have a list with the vowels available so that you can always make sure how I use the correct vocalic symbol or not. Do we need the same for consonants? Well, I don't think so. Consonants are much easier to remember. Quite interesting are these two vowels where the LPD notation doesn't really represent new phonemes, but these are the so-called called weak vowels, the weak E as in many or funny, or the weak U as in got you, for example. Okay, let's start. Here is the first line, boozy, culture, vulture, and already here you see one of these weak vowels in boozy, culture, vulture. Apart from that, there's not really a problem. Line two, are you going abroad this year? Well, we have assimilation, but I will talk about it in a second. Line three, we haven't given much thought to it yet. Well, this is not problematic at all, and neither is line four. How about you? If we can afford, and then the text goes on. Now, what about connected speech? Well, we have several weak forms in this text. Mark blue, you, we, and to, we, and can. All these are weak because they occur in unstressed position. These forms, which are marked red, are strong forms for the following reasons. R could be weak, but R is unstressed and it occurs at the beginning of a sentence. Haven't is quite interesting because the auxiliary verb have only occurs in the weak form if it is in declarative sentences and if it is an auxiliary followed by the past participle, which is the case here. However, it is stressed. And finally, how about you? Again, you is fully stressed. Assimilation is always optional. I keep telling you that assimilation is optional. If this is an exercise which you have to hand in at your university, don't mark assimilation. You will only create problems. But as assimilation exists, the optional uh, connected speech effect of assimilation, like in this year, where we clearly have coalescent assimilation, where the alveolar fricative and the mm, palatal approximant, the palatal approximant assimilate to create this sh, sh a post alveolar fricative. And we can have assimilation in given much where the bilabial nasal influences the alveolar nasal regressively. So here we have. Um, a case of regressive assimilation and this of course must be given much. Okay, so this is the correct solution. Let's continue with the second part of the text. Line 5, to go there again, to go there again, and here you might want liaison, I will say something about it in a second, to go there again, last year's place will suit us. Uh, will is really weak here because it is uh, unstressed. Now we have an alternative for again. Again could also be transcribed like this. Which is an alternative that is allowed according to the Longman Pronunciation Dictionary. 
but it is only preferred by a minority. An alternative could also be suit instead of suit. You know, this is the effect of yacht dropping. Meanwhile, the majority of RP speakers prefer, prefers yacht dropping. In line six, well, there's not really a problem. Remember, um, probably, well, just as well this year, but probably there's not really a problem. Line seven, remember that the plural, the ES plural is always represented by a short E in RP. The prices have gone up. Arthur will go anywhere. Well, any is often a problem for our students because they illegally want to insert an ash here. So it is not an ash, so please forget this. Any uses the short A. Connected speech. Well, there's a relatively large number of weak forms. All these monosyllabic function words that occur in unstressed positions. They're marked blue. We have one strong form, just, which could be weakened to um, just where the wedge becomes a schwa, but here it is stressed. We have a possibility, the optional possibility, again I emphasize it's optional, of inserting coalescent assimilation again this year and but probably, but probably, where the alveolar plosive in but assimilates to the subsequent bilabial plosive and we get but probably, but and finally, we have liaison. We could insert an R, a linking R, into there again. But again, it is optional, even though you might think I use it quite often. Here is the last part. To give him that red wine of his, well, not really a problem. Do you remember the names of these symbols? Here, this is called the wedge. And I hope you remember. Line 10. His wine. Oh, so does Martin only. Here we have a weak vowel again. Here we have another weak vowel in the weak form he. Only Martin has to go somewhere. That's got some historic, and that's the last line, historic ruins or ruins or something as well. Well, let's finally look at connected speech effects and here again we have several weak forms and quite interestingly two strong forms so is strong because it is stressed and has is strong because as I said the weak form is only used when the word functions as the perfective auxiliary but here it is clearly the equivalent of must so it's not a perfective auxiliary it has to be strong well ready as usual, the print version of the solution can be found in the VLC e-lecture library or if you take part in any of our phonetics and phonology classes, you will find these texts as integrated exercises. Thank you very much. See you again.